Hey everybody, thanks for joining me. I'm Mike Drodis, Bible teacher and preacher, and you are watching Solving the Prophetic Puzzle. We are living in the last of the last days. Paul said that they will be perilous times. Jesus referred to them as birth pains or birth sorrows. We are seeing wars and rumors of wars. We are seeing famines and pestilence in various places. These will continue to escalate as we draw closer and closer to the final seven-year period, the seven-year tribulation period that we are that, that, that we are headed towards towards. There will also be judgments. Judgments will fall upon the earth, and I'd like to talk to you about a judgment warning today. It all started about 4,000 years ago with, with a young man named Joseph. You can read about Joseph in Genesis. Joseph had 11 brothers, and, and they hated him. Joseph was highly favored by his father, but the brothers hated him. One day, the brothers saw Joseph in the field as he was coming to them, and they plotted to, to, uh, to kill him. They decided instead that they would throw him into a pit. There Joseph was sitting in the pit, and his brothers decide what they would do next. When the Midianite slave traders uh, drove by. They decided that they would sell Joseph, their brother, into slavery, and off Joseph went. Joseph went to a place in, in Egypt called to Potiphar's house, who was his who was his owner. And Joseph served in Potiphar's house for, for a few years and did very well until one day he was accused falsely of a crime, and Joseph once again was cast into prison. This time he stayed in prison for a few years, and then one day he was released from prison, and he was taken to, to the palace. Joseph went from the prison to the palace overnight. And there in the palace, he stood before Pharaoh. Pharaoh had a dream that disturbed him, and Joseph was known to interpret dreams. In the dream that Pharaoh had, Pharaoh had a dream of seven cows, uh, seven uh, healthy, uh, fat cows that, that were, that were um, healthy. And then he had a dream... In his dream, he saw seven cows that were lean and ugly and diseased. And the seven ugly cows ate up the, the healthy fat cows. They ate them up, but the seven um, ugly cows could, did not gain any weight, and they did not look any healthier. And this disturbed Pharaoh. So Pharaoh asked Joseph, he says, can you interpret this dream? And, and Joseph said to him, yes. The dream is this, the seven fat cows, the seven fat cows represent seven years, one cow for each year. There will be seven years of abundance that will come, but the seven lean cows will represent seven, seven years of famine. There will be, after the seven good years, there will be seven lean years, and these lean years will be so bad that they will actually eat up all that the seven years prior to that had amassed. And Joseph interpreted the dream, and Pharaoh realized that it was, it was true, and it was a warning from God. That brings us up to the present age, or about um, 2014, where God once again was using cows to speak to the body of Christ. Now, I remember this. I remember this for, for a reason that's not very spiritual whatsoever, but I remember in 2014, there, there was a farmer in, in Pennsylvania who had, who had a cow, and, and the cow had a number seven drawn across his face. It was, it, was, he, it was a black cow, but there was a white seven that was, went across his face and down, down his face, and it clearly looked like a seven. And, and, and this person, this farmer in, in Pennsylvania, um, declared that this was a, a cow that, that was um, signifying that the Pittsburgh Steelers would win the Super Bowl. Well, the Associated Press found out about this, and, and they um, went ahead and, and posted this worldwide, this picture of this cow with a number seven across its face. And they, they, they actually launched that debut of that picture on September 25th, 2014. That, that day is very, very interesting because that is the, the opening day of the Jewish Shemitah year. And then fast forward to a couple more day, a uh, couple more months later, another farmer heard about this cow that had a seven on it, and he real, realized that he too had a cow. In fact, his cow was a little bit different. It was a red heifer, but it still had a number seven across it, across its face. Um, then, then, um, 
Jonathan Kahn, I don't know if you've heard about him, but I follow him a lot. He picked up on this and he began to teach about these seven, these, these two cows that had seven across their face and that it was a sign and that it, it was, it was a warning. And, and he explained how, um, the, the cow, both cows were, the first cow was introduced on September 25th, 2014. And then the second cow was, was, was noticed a few months later, but it was also born on September 25th, 2014. The farmer had it in his records. So you have two cows, you have two cows representing something with the number seven across it. And this is what, this is where, what I got from this. These two cows represent the same cows that we saw with Pharaoh's dream. The, these two cows uh, represent seven years of, of, of good, seven years of abundance, and then there'll be seven years followed by famine and lack. And it all happened in um, September 25th, 2014. We, we've experienced seven years of of abundance for the last seven years. You may say, well, we haven't seen a lot of abundance here in the, in, in the country in the last few months because of this the pandemic. But if you look back over the last seven years, you can see that financially this country has had a year has had years of abundance. The stock market is at an all time high. It's booming. I remember that gas prices were very very low. In fact, they were so low. I think they were a dollar twenty five or dollar thirty a gallon at one point in time where I live. Um, the unemployment was, was at an all-time low. Food prices were low. Everything seemed to be going good. And even when the pandemic hit, there were people that were actually in, in a better state financially than they were before. I had known people that were on unemployment making one th almost $1,000 a, a week. And so we have experienced seven years of abundance. And, but I, I, that if you look at the seven years when it started in September of 2014 in the, in the Jewish year, not our year, but the Jewish year starts in September. We are uh, at the end of the seven years of abundance in September of 2021. After that, we will then experience seven lean years. Seven lean years are, are coming upon us. Judgment is coming upon this country. D judgment is coming to, to the land. And I've, I've come to, to, to tell you and to warn us that this judgment is coming. When the judgment comes in these seven lean years, we will see inflation rise. It's already beginning to rise right now. Prices are going up and up and up. We will see unrest. People, there will be civil unrest. There'll be social unrest. There'll be uh, unrest between different groups. And we will see a spirit of fear come upon the land. This will lead to heavy surveillance. I had a dream a few years ago, uh, a few months ago, where in this dream I saw the last days. And in, in the last days, I saw great surveillance. I was in a city. It, I don't know which city, but it seemed to be an American city. And in the city, I, I saw cameras, stacked rows of cameras with big glass over the, the cameras, and they were watching. Everybody was being watched. I saw over the city a helicopter, but it was like a helicopter that I never seen before. This helicopter was clear. It was made of some kind of substance, either plastic or glass. It was clear. You could see all the way through it, and there were two men driving, or two men in the helicopter. One was driving in the front, and one was in the back, and he was standing at armed with a, a, a machine gun, ready to, to uh, put, put down any sort of uprising that may occur. And these helicopters would fly all over the city. I also saw that they wore blue hats, blue baseball caps or blue type of, of hat. And they fl would fly all over the city watching. Everyone was being watched. Everyone was under surveillance. I also see that, that as, as, as we see inflation begin to mount up, that they will actually, during these seven lean years, there will be a reset of the economy. Paper money will no long, longer be in use. They will, they will create some other form of currency. Maybe they'll, this will, they'll introduce the mark of the beast at this time, whereby no man can either buy nor sell unless he has the mark or the name of the beast on his hand or forehead. This, this system will be introduced, could be introduced at this time. I see um, lockdowns 
and curfews being being expanded um, during these lean years. Now, I'm not saying this to frighten people. In fact, the very opposite is true. If, if you are a believer in Christ, you have nothing to fear during this time. Revela uh, Psalm chapter 37, verse 25 says, I have been young and now I am old, yet I have not seen the righteous forsaken, nor his descendants begging for bread. We may be living in perilous times, but, but, but um, with Christ on our side, he will protect us. The th Some people say, well, what should I do? Should I prepare? Should I get ready? Yeah, prepare. Get your heart ready. Give your life to Jesus Christ today. Today is the day for salvation. There's a parable in the Bible about a rich man. He worked really hard his whole life. He amassed lots of goods, so much goods that um, he thought to himself one day, I think I'll... I'll pull down my barns, build bigger barns and storehouses, and then I'll sit back and retire and live life, and I'll take it easy, and I'll eat, drink, and be merry. But God said, God called him a fool, and he said, Thou fool, this night thy soul shall be required of thee. See, he had, he, had, he had gotten involved in the wrong thing. He was pursuing the wrong thing. The, the, the greatest treasure on this earth is Jesus Christ. Give your heart to Jesus. And when, when the lean years come, when the lean years start in 2021, September 2021, the seven years of lean years, we may not even be here for the whole time. The Lord may pull us out of here before those seven years are up. But I, I, I leave you with this. Judgment is coming. We have had seven good years. Now we are going to experience seven lean years. Judgment is coming to this country. Prepare yourself now. Give yourself, give your heart to the Lord. Get right with God. Keep watching. Hey, thanks for watching. Thanks for commenting. Thanks for liking. For those of you who, who uh, haven't subscribed yet, please do. Each week I have something new to say about the end times uh, prophecy. So until next time, God bless you.